Indian story titled Donkey and the Stick, written by Sudha Murthy. We have taken the story from the book Grandma's Bag of Stories. This story is about people who got food easily. Let's read and listen to the story to find out how this happened. Adanabag was a busy road. It connected a number of villages to each other, and many people, animals, and carts used it every day. Walking along that, walking along that road, a group of students discovered a rock which no one had bothered to look in at many years. Look, they told each other in excitement. There's something written on the rock. What can it mean? They called out to their teacher. When they examined the rock carefully, they found the markings were actually little drawings. One showed a stick and other a donkey. By now, large crowd had gathered. Everyone was puzzled. What could these strange drawings mean? They asked, scratching their heads. They decided to go to the ashram of a wise sage nearby and ask him. But when he but when they trooped into the ashram, they found to their disappointment that the sage had gone on a long pilgrimage. Only his young disciple was there, looking after the cows and calves. They asked the disciple if he could throw some light on the strange drawings. Now, this young man was not very bright. But like many foolish people, he loved to put on an air of learning and pretended to be very clever. He examined the drawings carefully and minutely. Then he proclaimed, It is very it's very simple. This drawing, this is the drawing of a magic stick. The man with the stick is the hero of this place. He died protecting the village centuries back. Each person using this road must worship the rock and make an offering to it. One ignores it will become a donkey. The villagers were astonished to hear this strange explanation, but they were devout people and on that very day, they set up a shrine around the rock. They installed the foolish disciple as a head priest in charge of taking offerings from passing travelers. The disciple was pleased with his brain wave. Of course, he didn't know what the silly doings mean meant. But he, but he no longer and had to run after calves and get kicked by angry cows in the ashram. He could sit by the rock whole day, taking his pick of the offering to the rock and mutter a few mumbo jumbo prayers. His happiness lasted a few months till the wise old sage returned to the ashram. The old sage was annoyed to find his disciple missing and his beloved animals roaming around, uncared for. Then he looked into the distance and saw a large crowd gathered by the road. He went to investigate and found his missing disciple there. Looking happy and well-fed, busy accepting offerings for a rock, he stood watching for a while. Then he walked up to the rock and closely examined the picture. Without saying a word, he picked up a stout iron rod and to the astonishment of the gathered crowd, stared moving the rock. Many came forward to help him and when they had been able to meet the rock, they found a pot of gold under it. The sage said to the gathered around him, This picture meant you had to move the rock and find the hidden money. If you didn't, you were like all donkeys. You should not follow rituals and the word, words of the others blindly. Think for yourself and understand why you are doing what are you do.
if you have given this some thought, you would have recovered this treasure many months ago. Instead, you wasted your time and money making offerings to a rock and helping this greedy disciple of mine fat and make fool of you. This treasure belongs to all of us. Let's use to keep this road in good repair so everyone can use it and go about their work in peace. The villagers hung their head in shame for they realized how foolish they had been. As for the disciple, he had to clean the cow sheds for many months to atone for his greed. Thank you for watching guys. We'll be back on next Saturday, next Sunday with another amazing story. Till then, take care everybody.